Hello again, everybody. Elric Ferris, Editor-in-Chief from Motherboards.org. Well, previously on the new i5 launch, we brought you a preview of this new ASUS P7P55D Deluxe Motherboard. Now we're going to bring you the full review. Follow along as we show you some of the finer points of this motherboard, its test scores, and how it works well for you, the end user. The ASUS P7 P55 Deluxe uses the Intel P55 Express chipset and also has the LGA 1156 ZIF socket interface. It supports quad SLI and quad GPU crossfire support as well. One thing that both enthusiasts and gamers alike look for in a motherboard is its overclocking options. ASUS has special features to enhance your overclocking experience. The ASUS Turbo V Evo, Auto-tuning and the ASUS Turbo V Remote drivers real-time overclocking control. To keep your motherboard running stable and to keep it running cool, ASUS has a couple features of their own to make this happen. The ASUS Extreme 24 Hybrid Phase Design features ASUS's true 16 plus 3 phase power design plus their T-probe to make this happen. In today's PC market, there are so many memory manufacturers that you never know what memory will or will not work with your motherboard. With ASUS's new Memo K, you can put any memory in your board and pre-test it prior to booting your system. ASUS EPU is a system-level energy-saving feature which monitors your system in real-time for the most appropriate power usage. Keeping your system running cool is a key element in maintaining your motherboard, and ASUS uses a fanless design which features the Stack Cool 3 which can offer up to 11% cooler heat dissipation from your motherboard, and the Fan Expert which offers active, quiet and cool, intelligent fan monitoring. In the old days, if you wanted to have decent sound on your system, you had to go out and buy an inline sound card like a Sound Blaster. But ASUS's new Crystal Sound features 10 channel surround sound audio, DTS surround sound sensation, and it also has noise filtering for recording to block out background noise. This system also features absolute pitch, which offers better than digital recording. Here is a shot of the retail box. And as you can see, we follow that up with pictures of the driver, the cables, and the manual. As you can see, it even comes with the uh, crossfire bracket right there. This is the ZIF 1156 socket where you insert your CPU. This is the memory. Um, unlike previous generations board, which uses triple channel, this uses dual channel memory. Here's where you insert your video cards, and as we stated previously, this, this board features quad SLI or quad crossfire support. This is the heatsink for the system bus, and these are all the plugins for your external USB and external SATA. This is where you plug in the Turbo V remote. Here's the RIO. The main features are eight USB, dual LAN, IEEE, and digital sound, as well as a restart button. Here is the ASUS Turbo V remote. This can control all of your overclocking functions in real time. Here is our new test system. As requested by our users, we have updated to all of the latest products. And here are our test scores. Well, it looks like ASUS has scored again. The new P7P55D Deluxe Motherboard is a great board. It has many features, good performance, and a good price. There is one board that's above this board. That's the premium, and it's a little bit more expensive and offers a few more features. But for the dollar, this is a great board. I give it a solid editor's choice here at motherboards.org.